What is going on, guys? Let's talk about something we don't normally discuss on this channel, and that is cars for a minute. If you don't know, I drive a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, and if you don't know what that means, uh, it's essentially the big boy Jeep, okay? It's at a 6.4 liter Hemi engine with 475 horsepower, and I love it. Um, my first ever car was a 1995 Jeep Grand Cherokee a V8, a 5.2 liter. So to be driving a 20 year newer version of my first car always is kind of loco to me and it, it's just a cool thing in my brain. I don't know, I'm, I'm a huge Jeep fanboy. I've always been around Jeeps my whole life and uh, I think I'll always forever own some sort of Jeep. Um, and people always ask me like, Max, what are you gonna get next, dude? And it's like a weird question because I'm like, why do I, like, what, like next? And I, and I know everyone, like, everyone loves supercars, Lamborghinis, everyone wants to wake up in a Bugatti, you know, but I love this vehicle. Like, I literally love everything about it. There's not, like, a bad, maybe, like, the gas mileage is, like, a bad thing. It's got, it gets, like, 9 to 10 on average miles a gallon, so it's miles per gallon, but I love it. Like, I love the interior. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it drives. I love the way that it sounds. It's fast. Like, I just... Everything about this car is exactly what I want at this point in my life and I am not sure when I would upgrade from this or like what I would upgrade to. So for the for the time being, guys, if you were to ask me, what's my dream car? When am I gonna buy my dream car? I already bought it. Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Filming all that Jeep stuff in 90 degree weather, right in the, the beating down of the sun, it sucks, but let's go see Tom. Oh dude, this is like fancy water. Yeah. So we're at a brewery and I am not gonna get any beer because I actually hate beer. Tom, what's my favorite beer? Buzz Light Lime. Is there anything Do they got it? Let me, me taste like, the lime. Okay. Every single person that I, that I meet, they're always like, oh dude, I, you, you'll like this beer. You'll like this one. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's gonna waste a sip. What is this? It's a lemon cream ale. Lemon, lemon cream ale. Yeah, lemon zest. Oh, that smells terrible. Taste I'm it. so hungry. Yeah, you're hungry. Hey, man. <laughs> um, that's a good pour, but I gotta get out of here, man. I'm gonna see you tonight. Yo, did you get any drone footage of the property? No, people hate drone footage, man. Dude, you gotta show them the property. Do it. You, you sure? Do it. Let's go meet mother for dinner. Woo, food. Hey, mom. Hello. Hey, Bosley. <laughs> that is like one mean looking Jeep. It is a mean look, it's sweet, isn't it? Wow. Mom, how, how long have how long we been Jeep people? Or I've been, how long have I been a Jeep guy? Um, 
I got my first Jeep in 97, so we went wheeling then. And then I got my next hey. one in 2001, which is when we really started wheeling. And then you got your Jeep in 2005, right. 2006. It was 20 year older version of this. Yeah. Pretty crazy, right? Pretty much, yes. Guys, mom, people think that I, I hide my family on the channel. Yes, you do. I, I, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I just, I, ne you I never. You never mention your mom. Everybody's Oh my going, gosh. No, Max I just. have a mom? I just don't like pull out the camera when we're at dinner. Does Max have a mom? This is. Max has a mom. haircut? Yeah, it did. It looks very nice. Thank you. This is, this is my mom. Hi, I'm Max's mom. That's Max, Joe. Hey there. We're going to go get dinner. Yes. A little early, early Father's Day. Late mother, Bosley, you just, I know, just attention, I know. This is, this is Bosley. Thanks, Joe. Mother, what do we start out with? We have Prince Edward Island mussels and a- Wait, what? Gar Prince Edward Island mussels. Why does someone get their own name after mussels? I should get my own mussels. Do you remember my friend Michelle from Canada? Yeah. Prince Edward Island is up there near Nova Scotia. So well, he sounds of, like a nice guy. A lot of mussels come from Prince Edward Island. I've never had one, but I don't want them. Oh, you don't? Nope. They're really good. The broth at the bottom is really good to dip your bread. Nope. All right, main dish, Mom. What'd you get? Mahi. Mahi with... You got two mahis? I did. With uh, pineapple mango salsa. Sounds delicious. Garlic whipped potatoes and the like, kami or whatever. It is. And what about you, Joe? I have scallops with broccoli and spinach. He's getting his greens. Spinach. Yes. Yeah. I got the filet, taters, veggies. Mom, one of the most, one of the things that people love on my channel yes. is eating food. Why is that? Yeah, I don't like that. Nice Very wheels. Good. Oh, you've got the I like the rumble the just when it's driving down the road. You're yeah, hear that guys? Rumble. Rumble. Parents approved. I'll tell you, one of the best things ever about moving out, worst thing is obviously I don't get to see my mom as much. Yes. But you know one of the best, can you guess the best thing about moving out? Coming back to visit. Well no, like a thing that I don't miss from living at home. Cleaning your room? No, yard work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> raking leaves, hey. I hate raking leaves. Now Joe gets to do all the yard work. He has a big riding tractor, up like a big Kabuta tractor. Where is it? Back here. You see the tractor? Yeah. You're growing things? I am. So there's mint? That's and I mint and I take it off and I crush it and I put it in the lemonade. Wrong, mom. You're supposed to put it in mojitos. Well, actually, one of them is mojito mint. Ooh. You gotta. Oh, actually, hey. let me let me go. Oh yeah, yeah. Let, let a professional do it. Well. Bye, Mom. Oh. Love you guys. Love you too. Are you gonna, the YouTube will want to see you again. They will? Okay. She's a nice lady. <laughs> Tom, how'd you get in here, man? Haha. <laughs> you hanging at my mom's the whole time? Yeah. Sweet. All right. Uh, Tom and I are gonna go home and play Call of Duty for the next like three hours. Yes. Well, it's like 11. I'm gonna go. I'm tired, man. I bet you we play for three hours. <sighs> right. I'm way better than Tom at Call of no, Duty. No, you're not. But then in the morning, I have a meeting for some financial stuff to set up my future, right? It's always important. And then I'm heading back. And yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. And then we lift some heavy ass weight in the gym. Good morning, guys. About to leave Richmond. Just had a meeting with my financial advisor, you know, so younger Max can help out older Max. Very important to think about your future. And you know, obviously the older you get, hopefully your finances get in order. And generally, I think for most people is you want to and hopefully do make more money each year. And it's important to put away money and think long-term. And sometimes it's a tough pill to swallow because you're like, I just want the money now. I want the money in my account. I want to have the big dollar dollar bills in my account. So when I log in, I'm like, wow, I got dollars. But you know, your older self, well, thank your younger self and that's what I'm trying to do is set it up so when I'm like 50 and 60 I can be like wow thanks younger Max now I can go do stuff I don't know but it's adult adulting woo all right I'm going home I'm going to the gym we just got a shipment of the compression pants in if you're watching this video then the compression pants are live right now again 
I think you'll love them, but I gotta head back. It's a long drive. I'm hungry. It's noon. Let's go. Deadlift time. I'm excited. I'm rambling. People are staring at me. It's downtown Richmond. Bye. What's up, guys? It is actually the next day. I had a headache after I drove yesterday, so I was a little Nancy girl about it, and I was like, I'm not lifting. So we're gonna do some heavy ass deadlifts today. Gotta get up to 490 pounds. I, this is the only time where I wish it was 495, like five pounds heavier, just so it could be five plates. But you know, we're gonna follow the programming. But our AC is messing up in here, so it's pretty hot. It's hotter than Hades in here. So I'm not gonna wear the full length stretchy pants. I'm gonna wear the three quarters, even though I already look ridiculous in compression gear. But why not look even more ridiculous where my ankles are popping out? So. This is the bagging for the compression gear, by the way. So it's got the logo, it's got the size on there, it has the wash instructions, wash cold inside out, hang dry only. It's a little zippered bag, so if you wanted to use it as like a sandwich baggie, I guess you could. It has a little uh, hole down here for like the air to get out, so if you had an extra, if you like had an extra sloppy Joe, then you wouldn't want to put it in there. But I'm gonna put on these bad boys, the three quarters. Let's just do it right, meow. Whoop, boom, and there we go. Three quarters, they still have the pocket. They have mesh on the back, reflective stripes. Wow, super cool. Uh, these are all, these have all launched by the way. All the compression gear, restock of the old stuff, the shorts, which hopefully don't get guys get weirded out by this, but I wear the shorts underneath for extra compression. You can wear these just as standalone. They have the pockets as well. Hopefully that did not weird you out. So all of the compression gear and the hats are now live on the first link in the description down below. Hopefully you guys check them out. If you like compression gear, I think you'll absolutely love these, um, especially because I think they're at a price point that is very competitive when you compare them to what a lot of other companies are selling them for. And they're very tight, okay? Very tight. Get used to it, baby. Deadlifts. woo! Get my mind right, we're taking some Ghost Warhead Watermelon, have a scoop in there. This is my favy. And then also I joined 2017 with Spotify. Finally got the premium account. You can follow me. My name is just Max Tuning, all one word. I have a couple playlists, one of which is the workout jams. Got some stuff. It's a work in progress, but let's go. that I've progressed in the deadlift, the weight is gonna get heavier and heavier, but the, the reps are staying the same, so three reps. So you might be like, Max, if you pulled it for that speed of 490, in two weeks, how are you gonna pull 520 for 10 sets of three? Well, the idea behind the programming is that you get mother effing stronger over the program. I don't know if I'm excessively yelling right now, but the music. Also, if you guys saw in the last video, I can't count. I preached about not going over your reps, right? And then I did 11, I was supposed to do 10. But when you have to do 10 sets, as weird as it sounds, you forget how many sets you've done. So what I like to do, if you don't own a gym, I wouldn't do this because I might get mad. But you take a piece of chalk and just mark. And be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, baby. And then you're done. And then you have squats to do and you're like, dang it. All right, second set. Keep the energy high. Let's rip this weight off the ground. Loud noises. about mother effing deadlifts. We like to pick weight up, and then we like to set that thing right back down. Step four, let's go. Oh. 
Somebody like Matt. In competition, you gotta set the weight down, dude. You're slamming it, you're gonna get DQ'd. I know that. I do it just to piss all you guys off. Fifth set, this is the halfway point. We are halfway to victory, my friends. This is the part where you wanna start giving up. It's getting really heavy, you're getting really taxed. Suck it up, pick up the weight, let's go. Even though his shirt is like this thin, it like made me think that my belt was looser. I got all thrown off. Ended up ripping my damn hand. We still have four more sets to go with a ripped hand. Dang it! Okay, so we ripped our hand, so we have a few options right now. One, we stop deadlifting. That's not an option. Two, we start using some straps. The issue with that is, one, I don't know if we have any straps here, and two, the way that I get hyped for a deadlift where I just like rip it off the ground, it, using straps kind of throws me off. So that potentially is out. And three, what we do is we suck it up and we try to just finger the bar, right, and not put my actual palm in there. So it's gonna make it a little bit tougher, but you know what? I think we can do it, fam. We got four more sets to go. Let's do it. Ugh. Ah, come on! Ah. Ow! All right, we have one more set to go. I've been live streaming this entire workout. So if you're not on Instagram, you're missing out. There was also a discount code for this launch. Also, check out my hand right now. You see that little flap? I'm dumb, I'm dumb. All right, set 10. This is the one that counts. Dig deep. You ready to quit, you ready to give up? Not today, not up in here. One thing about the 10 sets of three on deadlift, followed by squat, followed by bench. It takes a long time because I, I want as much rest as I need to be able to effectively hit that, that set. So now we're moving into the third exercise of the day and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much adding like an hour and hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes right now. Still have another exercise to do. But three sets of five, pause reps 185. The last workout you saw I was doing 11, unfortunately, reps. That was tap and go, but if anything five and under, we do a pause, competition pause, so again, we're coming down, we're gonna let the bar come to a complete stop, and then we're gonna drive up. In competition, you have to wait until they say press. So, they'll be like, start, and then they'll say press, and they'll say rack. You can't just like YOLO it. You've gotta listen. They're the captain now. That was 
was five. I counted correctly. It is hot, 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 both outside and inside, but it's actually like a little sauna box because it just all the heat's like, I'm staying in here, dude, I'm not leaving. I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Um, the next clip I'm gonna show all of like the products. You know, I, I try not to make the, the whole video about you know selling you stuff, but if you're interested in picking up anything, stick around for the next clip. I'll show you everything. I really appreciate anyone who snags stuff up. And if you ever have any issues at any time for any reason, just email me. I'll take care of you. Don't you worry. But really excited to continue on this prep. We're only on week two. So we have this plus six more weeks. So we're seven weeks out. But the final week is called a deload week where we essentially lift extremely light. And then like two or three days before the meet, we don't even lift at all. We don't lift before we lift super heavy. What the heck? Also, being the smaller weight, 165, um, I hopefully a lot of you guys maybe who are you know skinny like me, uh, hopefully this can show you that you know it doesn't matter. You don't need to be like gigantically jacked or you know 200 pounds to compete in powerlifting. If you're in like a lower weight class and you want to try it out, I would highly recommend it. Um, again, it's it's such a like supportive sport and environment. Everyone that asked me, you know, how, like for their first time going to competition i tell them just go into it like literally the community at these events will blow you away of how like just like amped up everyone is for everyone to hit prs like even if even if like, you're neck and neck with someone you're screaming at the person who potentially could beat you to lift the damn weight because it's just like it's just a great it's just a cool environment and i hope anyone who's interested in competing I hope this prep will get you excited to lift and excited to compete thank you guys for so much for watching this video and keep on leaving comments about what you want to see down below I'm incorporating a little bit of a lot of topics into each video and we're just gonna keep on keeping on then this weekend special guest comes into town you guys are gonna love it see you later I'm going to edit this video yeah 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 bye okay briefly I want to show you the ladies full length high waist compression pants but they have the pocket on the right side reflective logo right there a four inch high waist back here you have ever forward everything is in reflective print and then you have these three little reflective dots down the bottom how would you say they, they feel they feel really good amazing i just completed a full workout so they're great would you say they're very very tight they're very tight, so it helps you right. during the movements to be like the, the, post, the posture, to keep the posture Perfect. Right. So you say they're not like uh, like yoga pants, they're very no, they're very not. tight compression, they're right? They're made to fitness, to real fitness. You heard it. Made to fitness. Okay, along with the lady full-length compression pants, we have a full restock of the previous three full-length men's pants and the shorts. So the shorts, you saw them earlier in the video, and for the pants, the restock of the silver, the phantom, and the classic. The classic is a much more minimal design, just a little lower uh, reflective calf logo. And then the new items for the guys are the three-quarter compression pants, which I was wearing today, obviously, and the gold, in black design which is the same as the phantom and the silver it's just in gold so limited quantities on all of that and then obviously we have the five new hats that are launching well three new hats two restocking which are the tan and the black they're the exact same as the previous hats the only difference that we did is i actually added a little stitch on the side of the hat because the previous run sometimes if it wasn't very tight on your head it would almost kind of like ruffle around here so i had them add a stitch which should eliminate that make it look pretty clean so full line of compression gear all the hats they're officially live now thank you guys for the support um, again i can't stress it enough i know i keep hyping them up but if you wear compression gear just try them out um, I really, really think that you'll love them. Again, if for any reason you don't, just shoot me an email. I'll take care of you, no worries. If anything goes wrong with them in the future, I'll take care of you, no worries. I want you to be happy and I want your butt to be compressed, okay? Because this stuff is tight. Tight, tight, tight like a tiger. Also, I wear a medium. Pretty much everyone here wears a medium. I would recommend you get the size that you normally would wear in compression gear if you're right on the threshold of the size chart, which is on in the website size down if you want a little tighter but these ain't no spandex yoga pants they're compression they're tight mm. thank you guys i'll 
I'll see you later. Bye. Flex, we have Corgi compression gear coming soon, dude. Don't worry. All right, all right, bye. You don't, why are you paying, not paying attention to me? Pay attention to me, man.